What's that up there? Is that a new texture? Well, guess what? We're in 1.17, and we have a lot of new things to find. There are new mobs, ores, and blocks to find, and I want to find as many of them as I possibly can today. So hello and welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD, and I'll be your teacher today. Our objectives are, number one, find all the new mobs. Two, establish a copper mine and find the new blocks. And three, craft some of the new 1.17 blocks and items. Now right off the start, you're not going to see much of anything if you're in a chunk that you have loaded. So there won't be many changes other than textures. So the ores have changed to textures, except for diamond. And there's another odd thing that I've noticed. Look at those trees way off in the distance. What is going on with those? If I use zoom with Optifine, I can see the leaves, but without zoom, not there. I'm wondering if that's a bug. But when there is a new version, there are bound to be bugs. And yeah, it looks like I found one. But anyways, uh, it is going to be nighttime, but what we're going to be doing is heading off in the northerly directions over there. There's some mountains. You can see mountain right there. We have a dark oak forest. I have not ventured beyond that dark oak forest, so none of those chunks will have been rendered before, which means everything over there is going to be brand new, and we want a lot of brand new stuff. But you know what I heard? I was over in this direction. Maybe we can do this before sunsets. And I'm just going to run right over here. Now, I know there's a cave around here somewhere, but I was standing around here. I was walking around here, and I heard something. Not, not the Enderman. But I heard the sound of an axolotl. The axolotls are one of the new mobs, and I really want to find one. Uh, we'll find axolotls in dark caves uh, in the water. As for things like glow squid, well, I haven't seen one yet. I mean, I did a little bit of work earlier, just uh, getting some levels so I can do something. And let me do this before we head out. I did a lot of fishing and got some levels so I could enchant a brand new diamond pickaxe. And there it is. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3. It's fortune that I wanted. Now, my old one's got mending. Now, what I want to do is combine these. And that means I'll have a mending fortune three pickaxe. It only costs five levels, which is nice. And there we go. And it's sunset, so let me sleep and we're going to head out. I'm just going to grab this bed and bring it with me. Uh, one thing I should mention is uh, one of the new mobs is goats. And they spawn in mountains. But you know what? I haven't seen any around here. I'm not sure if... They have spawned around here, but anyways, we're going to be going that way by those mountains. Oh, you be quiet. You just sounded like a baby zombie. Okay, let's let's go see what we can find over here. What's great about the Dark Oak Forest, or as they are often called, Roofed Forest, is that you can walk on the roof. And no problem. So, looks like we're right at the edge. This is not a very deep forest. Uh, one thing I want to find is a ravine. Uh, not that. That doesn't look nice. Uh, what is interesting about ravines, or useful about ravines, is you can see a lot of stuff in them. And quite possibly we'll find an amethyst geode. And nothing new down there. Don't even see any axolotls. Okay. And since we're in the mountains... There's a good chance we'll find goats, but again, I don't see any. Ah, uh, there's a bee. Oh, excellent. You know, I need that. I need this guy's hive. We haven't really looked at bees before, but I want to get some honeycomb. And I want to use that for something. I just don't know where his hive is. I mean, it should be on either a birch or an oak tree. 
I have found a ravine. I haven't found the hive, but I found a ravine. And I see iron down there. But do we have anything new? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, this looks like it's not too deep. Not really. All I see is iron. I don't see anything new down there. Well, I found a massive plains area. Interesting. Might find bees in here, but I think it'll be a lot easier to find some things with everything being wide open. And we found something! Copper. So, one of the reasons I got fortune is so that we can get tons of this stuff. Uh, three raw copper. Okay, not bad. It could be better, actually. And it's going to be nighttime. And let's go search tomorrow morning. I found something. Okay, I'm going to head over there. Uh, I should talk a little bit about copper. Now, copper is one of the new blocks. So it's actually the new ore that we have. And it can be used to make copper blocks, which are great for building. Lightning rods, which are great for attracting lightning and the spyglass. Now the spyglass is something that it it does basically it does this but for bedrock users it is invaluable. For Java users who use Optifine then it's it's nothing new really but it's nice to have. It's it's an interesting thing. So here we have oh there's another one over there. Okay, excellent. So what I'm going to do is I've got a campfire right here. I'm just going to put this right underneath. And what will happen is these guys won't get angry if I try to take stuff out of here. You just, oh, there's none in there. Huh. Well then, uh, I would have to wait for the them to come back and put their honey in here. Okay, so while we're doing that, We'll let them uh, we'll let them do that and see if we can find some other things around here. I don't see any of the new mobs in this water, but weird water glitch right here. Okay then. I don't see any axolotls. I don't think there's any dark space for them to spawn in right here, but we do have a not a cave. No, not a cave. This is promising. But I don't see any axolotls. Um, what is our level here? We're at, okay, 68. This is too high. We need to be farther down because they spawn at, I believe it's level 63 or under. So we were too high. We need to be farther down underground, I think. Have they left anything yet? Nothing. If it weren't for that visual glitch with the birch trees, this would be a beautiful area. That is so weird. While we wait for the bees to do their job, let's take a look at today's comment of the video. This is from Nathaniel Boykin Sams. Maybe on the ledge you could put a mob spawner. Love the wall, looks super nice, and I also like it because I can add on to it and give it my own flair. Great job. So yeah, of course, you can give everything that I've built. Uh, you can you can do your own thing, of course. Uh, as for that ledge, uh, that is an interesting suggestion. Of course, I can't put a spawner there, but uh, I have toyed with the idea of putting a mob farm, but I think it's just a little bit too close. And like, I don't like to be living right next to a, uh, to a mob farm. So I do have an idea, though, that's going to be a big industrial build. And I think this will go very well. I think I found a spot I'd like to go down into, see if we've got some interesting things to see down here. Uh, let me just check. I have two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go get some uh, coal. And, you know, when you're mining for some ores, sometimes you'll find other ores right behind. Let's see. Remember, we have three of these. Let's see how many we get now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 
This is a nice vein of copper. I like this. How much are we going to get? Okay, so in total we got ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho close to a stack and a half. That that was nice. Okay, uh, we've got a good amount of coal as well, so let's head back over there and explore that cave. So ideally, I'd like to find a cave with water in it. Just light that up and grab these, because you know, a lot of this would be great. And you know, I'm not sure if I will establish a mine here, but this is looking interesting. Okay, we have anything down here? Dead end? It looks like a dead end. Okay, not bad. We did get some copper out of that. How much do we have now? Ah, huh, just 10 more. That wasn't a lot. Here's another thing that's new. Iron. Let me just clear a space in here and grab some iron. This also drops raw iron. Now, fortune does affect it. So I should be able to get a good number. Ah, I got three from that one. So now iron is fortunable. I, I'm not sure you've even sure if that's a word. Of course, get all the copper. And let's get out of here. Ooh, there's coal. I'm not really looking for coal right now. But I am looking for more iron because that is incredibly important. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Hello, who are you? Ah, you're just a regular old spider, huh? I do need your string, though. Oh my. Okay, let's not go in there. Let's really not go in there. <laughs> We're being chased by a witch. Okay. They are bad news. Witches can be pretty... Jeez, chasing me. Or she. It. Whatever. Let's get rid of her. Okay. Now, witches can drop. Let's see. We got a spider eye and a glass bottle. Hmm. Not much. Okay. I don't want to go back in that cave just yet, but there's water down there. So I'm curious what's down here. Okay. Looks like it's a dead end, unfortunately. Okay. There is no need to be afraid. Just go after them. We just have some zombies in here. That's it. Hold on, that's a lot of zombies. I wonder if we have a spawner in here. That would be very interesting. Hello. Looks like we got some more iron in here. All right. So let's keep going. Let's light this up. To make sure we're not going to get lost. And it looks like... This doesn't seem to go down, though. Uh, we got water down there. Oh! Oh, 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 here's something brand new. This is glow lichen. This stuff. I think you can get with... Yes! All right. Got a glow lichen. And a zombie. All right. Hey, you. How's it going? <laughs> Let's uh, finish lighting this area up because I don't want any of these guys to come around here. But glow lichen is something that you can use underground to light things up. It glows in the dark and it can only be found underground in the caves. Okay, this is going up. That's not what I want. Uh, so I'm just going to grab all of the ores. Oh, look what we found. Okay, I got a bucket of water. Grab this guy. No, no. Uh, that's that's not how it works. I mean, I need to grab this, and I need to make sure I am picking you up. Don't go away. Don't go away. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. There we go. We got an axolotl. Oh, and this is one of the common colored ones. I believe it's uh, cyan. Oh, great. We got one of our new mobs. 
So, uh, I don't think any bees go in here. I think they all go to that one. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Well, I don't have silk touch, do I? No, I don't. This thing does not have silk touch, unfortunately. So, uh, this is gonna be broken. Uh, so, what I have found, we have, looks like, just over two stacks of iron got one two three almost four stacks of copper now that is amazing we got one glow lichen now don't worry we can actually bone meal this to make it uh grow more and we got some string what we hello you are exactly who i'm looking for what do you have to sell small drip leaf i didn't bring any emeralds oh I forgot to bring emeralds. Um, the Wandering Trader is now very important in 1.17 because he has things like small drip leaf as well as the thing I really want, and that is moss blocks. Moss blocks can only be found with Wandering Trader or in a shipwreck, and moss blocks will give you azalea. Azalea huh? will also give you azalea trees. And, oh, I would love to have those to huh? decorate. They look so good. But I need to get rid of this thing, unfortunately. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Okay. Um, I have too much stuff. I don't need you. But I need this. It's time for the pop quiz. Number one, what's your favorite new mob in 1.17? And number two, what's your favorite new block in 1.17? Let me know in the comment section below. All right. Let's do it this time. Got, do I have any inventory space? No, I don't. So let me just uh, go here. Right click. And. Oh, there it is. Uh. No, I don't want you. There we go. Three honeycombs. Okay, not bad. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave this here. I'm going to check here. We have our coordinates. And take a screenshot so I know exactly where this is. Because, you know what? I think this is going to be the area that I build our copper mine. And I'm not going to be building it now because... Well, I don't have time for it, first of all. Second thing is, we really could not find, well, the amethyst geodes. We couldn't find that. But uh, my inventory is full, and I need to get back, and we have things to do with what we got. And so, unfortunately, we can't find everything i haven't found some of the mobs but i'm i'm gonna make that my goal to find the other two mobs and we're gonna head back over this way towards the mountains because we should be able to find some goats came through here earlier and i remember there weren't any goats uh so fortunately it looks like we're we may be out of luck for goats they're very elusive, it seems, today. Those are llamas. Those are not goats. Hey, we can see home from here. We're getting close, but I want to head over there to the ocean. Regular squid. Not glow squid. And we're not going to find glow squid here. You want to know why? Because they are going to spawn underground, not in the water here. You see, they need to be in total darkness to spawn, and they need there to be solid blocks above them. So you're more likely to find them in a cave underground or some kind of dark overhang. But I'm not sure where that would be around here. I mean, there could be some caves somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. And I'm not going to go searching for them. Here, goats. Sheep. I don't know. I have no idea if goats are going to spawn around here. It would be nice if they would. Then we've got them right in our backyard, huh? That would be great. But 
I think we're just gonna have to wait until we actually see the goats spawn and yeah we're you can't really control when they spawn or where they spawn so that's part of the nature of the game but anyways we got a bunch of stuff that we can play with now and let me show you some of my favorite things we really should have mined more coal anyways what you can do with the raw metals so if we got raw iron put that in here let's put in eight there we go and in here we're going to put a stack of copper so another eight goes in here and what we get out of it is just regular ingots which is great because you know what we got a lot of ingots from iron now we can we can mine with fortune and it's absolutely amazing now some of the things you can make with these now with copper uh, well we didn't find any amethyst but what we can do now is take our copper ingots and watch what happens this is a lightning rod now this is one of those new things that you know what I what I like to use them as is like pipes I mean it looks really good as pipes and I can just put them in somewhere like uh, I don't know I don't have a sink in here but you know you can you can actually place these on anything like this actually that looks like a support doesn't it just use pickaxe to grab it and yeah but it's it's normal purpose of course is to draw lightning so that it doesn't hit any of your wooden buildings and you don't want anything to burn right uh, you can also use this to make copper blocks uh, copper blocks will over time oxidize and boy do I have too much stuff in here okay let me organize things all right so with the copper blocks you can use these to make cut copper cut copper slabs and cut copper stairs now this is great because you can use this for building now, over time it changes color and like if I just put this out here I'll just put it out somewhere around here and it will take its time changing color yeah let's put it right there and maybe when we come back it'll be slightly greenish but I doubt it now the other thing I wanted to show you and this is with the honeycomb and this is one of my favorite additions to the game all we need is the honeycomb and string like that there we go and we can make candles now we can also make them different colors as well but uh, actually I do like the white candles so here we go I got three candles and I don't have any dyes on me but let me show you what I want to do with the candles I want to put them in here I think this will be interesting I put them around like this Oh, maybe a couple in this corner there we go you can actually put up to four candles in one spot now, to light them I do need the uh, steel the flint and steel as it was called all right let's light these up I love that and there we go we have candles in here this is great now uh, we do have another thing here and that is the glow lichen now where can we put this like uh, I want to put it in some kind of caverny place you know I mean we could put it down there but what's the point hello or we could we could actually put it in here so if we put it like right here okay so we have no bones so we need bone meal with bone meal you can do that and look at it it spreads and it'll also glow which is really nice so an extra source of light so it could give this room an extra interesting atmosphere i think just grab it. oh i guess we got one there 
and let me just put these oh there's two okay so we can put these two in a couple other locations like one there and how about one there and they will give us some glowing i just wanted to move one of the candles and put it right in here i think this will be a great place for it in the bedroom and let's light it up and there we go another little source of light in here so we weren't able to achieve everything we wanted to because sometimes you're just out of luck we couldn't find any goats no matter how many mountains we climbed we couldn't find any glow squid but there's a good chance that we may be, may be able to find some over there because there's i believe a cavern with water in it because we did find or i did hear an axolotl back there a while ago not during the video though we did get our axolotl though and we got copper we got lots of copper and <laughs> that's for sure and we found honeycomb so that we can of course make the candles i love the candle that's one of my favorite things that's been added to the game the things that we are still missing amethyst we all are also missing a few of the new blocks and i think we need to make a copper mine and we need to do a proper episode on that but that's not going to be today we need to see things like deep slate tough calcite and smooth basalt those we are going to be finding underground along with amethyst i have a whole bunch of tutorial videos all about a lot of the blocks that you can find in 1.17 i'll link them down in the description box below so you can check them all out but i think it's time for your homework so please take a screenshot of anything you found and post it on my discord server in the homework channel so i think next time we're going to get back to building and you know what there are so many things that i've discovered that i that we really really need to build so we've got a lot more to come if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in joining minecraft school then please consider subscribing so we'll see you Bye-bye.